MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. Buongiorno from Milan. Welcome to Late's Vodcast. Small hint there, they've let us out of the country. We're at Emo Milan 2015, and Starra Group have been kind enough to let us film on their stand. First of all, though, Mark is going to have a chat with the CEO, Walter Bursch. Walter, thanks very much for your invitation to your stand. Can you tell us a little bit more about the Starra Group? Yes, I can. The Starra Group is a Swiss-based machine tool company with a really long history. We are now more than 150 years old, and when you sum up all the years of experience that we have within our group, with our 10 different brands, it's more than 900 years. We have three different target markets. These target markets are aerospace and energy, it's transportation industrial components, and it's precision engineering. And all these famous brands are in one of these target markets have a very long history and technical background. So when you look at aerospace and energy, there is brands like Starak, there are brands like Darius and Sharman, and they have specific application for these target markets. And on the other hand, for instance, when you look at transportation industrial components, the most famous brand in this target market is Heckert. It's a company that's based in the eastern part of Germany with more than 100 years experience. And we have here a broad range of horizontal machining centers to fit to the special needs of customers in this target market. Thanks for that interview, Mark. Now, guys, we're AMO, we made the journey to Milan. Key to this is new technology that you won't see in the UK. So, what I want to do and make clear is we're going to keep this relatively brief because it's about watching the videos. Mark, thanks for joining us. Tell me. Let's get underway. Oh, well, I'll, sta on. I'll start with RK International. RK International they're not yeah. here exhibiting, but their principal, or one of their principles is the perfect range of grinders. Okay. And the uh, machine that is we saw. the brand name. That is the brand name. The machine we saw yesterday was an X36. Yep. It's a new machine to the range. The big focus on it is the control, the ease right. of use, the build of the machine. Yep. If you're looking for surface grinding technology, gotcha. uh, perfect is, is an option. I was on the Chiron stand and luckily got yep. to uh, interview Ross, uh, yep. uh, an American from Chiron, and he was very expressive in how good the Chiron and how fast the Chiron okay. machines are. And if it's production that you're after, the new yeah. mill series, it's like lightning. I so mean, this machine, speed of it. Oh, speed. If, if you like fast tool changes, uh, I think it was 1.2 G uh, in, the, in the rapids, or sorry, in the acceleration. So it's an extremely quick machine. Most of, actually, most of their machines are new on their stand, new launches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And, uh, you know, it, it really is quality product um, speed. We'll there. I'll give Mark a chance, yeah, shall you? You've just joined yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mark, who have you been seeing? Well, um, highlight for me is, is Sodic. They've yep. launched a, a brand new machine. Now, they're normally, you'd associate them with EDM, is that right? Yes, very much okay. so. Well, well, domination in certain areas of yep. that, but OPM 250 e-machine. It's an additive manufacturing machine, but also mills, so it's a one-stop shop. So, and when you say additive manufacturing, 3D printing? Yes, essentially, okay. yep. yep. Fantastic. Any others? Yeah, MapL, um, yep. very well known in, uh, for automotive tooling. Um, they've launched... Uh, Additive manufacturing okay. um, tooling. Yep. It's. Now, I think you know a bit about that, do you, Joe? Is that right? Allegedly. Allegedly. No. <laughs> no. I interviewed Wayne, the managing director yep. of Mapal. Learned a lot. Picked yep. up a lot. But essentially, you're adding material to yep. a standard um, shank. Yep. And you can do anything with it, can't you? So I think it's about nine mil up to about forty mm. millimeter diameter. Yeah. Is Three, that good with five, nine, in, twelve diameter? Yeah, the coolant through the uh, tool. Yeah. You can imagine the challenge of a small diameter tool trying yep. to get spiraled through coolant yep. into a small diameter HSS tool is it's, Rather it's a than a hole, it's, it's a triangle as well. Yeah, okay. which, it, which increases the, uh, gotcha. the throughput of the coolant. So. All right, well, Joe, well, with you, who have you been seeing? No, we've been seeing loads of people. Yeah. It's been a great yeah. show, Colin. But Goering have launched a new heat drink machine. Yep. Uh, they've had a heat drink machine for quite some time now, yep. but it's, it's an entry level machine. Okay. Whereas the new one, they've developed themselves, developed by Goering, oh, okay. built by Goering, yep. and essentially it's a high level machine. Okay. You can use ballast chips, yep. 
it reduces operator intervention. It's yep. fairly fairly difficult to make an error. Whereas on the old machine, you could have put you could have put some incorrect uh, selections into the control gotcha. panel. You could have damaged the tool holder. Whereas now, that's that's a challenge to do that. And it's also got a basic tool presetter in it as well. So within yeah. about 20 microns. So we keep this brief. So moving you on, Zoller. I think you've been see them. Yeah. The Hyperion 700 for memory. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, we all know Zoller. It's a household name in the UK now. They're selling loads of presetters, but this one's for a turning centre, Colin. A bit okay. different to what you'd normally see in the yeah. UK. It is available in the UK, of course, but for yeah. whatever reason, they don't sell as many as you do on the machining centres. Right, so slight change in that. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, Lubriserve, that's one I think we... Yeah, 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 we met Richard up on the Veoli stand. They've got a briquetta. Yep. Yeah, so you put your swarf in the top. Yep. And you get these little pockets come out the bottom. So basically, compact a swarf. What, what, is, that, is that what you're doing? Compacting swarf? Exactly. Yeah. You yeah. You redu basically reducing scrap on the shop floor, so you don't need big skips. Yeah. Uh, you re reclaiming the coolant. Okay. Approximately 20% of the, co uh, the swarf is actually the coolant, believe it or not. What's, it, what's, what's the average cost saving then? It depends how much swarf you produce. But I know they've just done a quotation, and the payback's going to be as little as 12 months. So right, fantastic. as soon as you buy the equipment, you, you, you're making gotcha. money basically. Who else have you been seeing? Uh, went to see Mazak, fabulous yep. stand. It's full of their, their Mazak technologies. You'd yep. expect their new smooth control, yep. very popular. Yep. Um, we've been to see Widia. Yep. A lot of interest in the M1200 face mill, which is fast becoming the face mill of choice for many engineers in the UK. ITC sell Widia okay, in the UK sorry. now, yep. so you will see Widia sales yep. increase significantly within the UK. Yep. We've been to see Romy as well, though. Yeah, yep. Romy, again, yep. selling lots of machines in Absolutely. the UK. and. The stand here was well worth a look. Yeah, right, Paul, back to you. Any other you yeah, want to cover uh, off? Victor was on Victor's oh, yeah. stand yesterday morning. They've got two new machines that they have launched of late yep. that we're unlikely to see in the UK. Firstly, a vertical lathe, the V1000, okay. which has got uh, a swing of just over a metre. Right. So for vertical turning, it's a good machine. So uh, differentiator? They, they used to have the smaller capacity right. machines, but so this, it's, a this capacity. It's, a, it's a lot bigger. Okay. Yeah, yep. uh, and that machine comes with or without driven tools as yep. a vertical lathe, the V1000. They've also got the new AX800, which is a five axis machine. They've had a lot of success with the AX350 yep. around the world, and now the AX800 is a, is a much bigger capacity five axis. So a bigger machine. envelope, essentially. Bigger envelope. Okay. We also looked at a, a V Turn 40 Y axis machine right. as well. Mark's turn now. Well, uh, Jones and Shipman, uh, yep. Suprema, Griner, very well known, great updates. Got you. Okay, um, as I said, I want to keep couple, it very couple, brief, couple so more, I'm going to give you some warning. Um, the, I interviewed um, Tim from Averex. Right. White House Machine Tools supply the Akari Horizontal Machining Centres in the UK. Yep. And the great thing about the Akari machine is you can add pallets to it, so it's f much more versatile. Oh, okay. You can buy a twin pallet horizontal machine in front and centre from them. Yep. And then if your work changed or your demands uh, from your customers changed and you needed yep. to maybe have a, a bigger machine with more capacity, yep. you can add another four pallets to the okay. machine to turn a two pallet machine into a six pallet machine. Okay. Okay. Do even doing the math, that was a struggle there, he even did the math for us, thanks yeah. Paul. They, they, they actually <laughs> produce 400 machines okay. a year. Yeah, well I'm not surprised. It, yeah. and, and that will take them, uh, White House machine tools have a lot of success with Brother and yeah. with the Akari uh, models and this, this will assist them in, in having even more gotcha. success. Right. Um, we're going to have to wrap it up fairly quickly, so go on in quickly. We've done a couple of videos for Dalcam whilst we've been yeah. at EMO 2015, and these have been, we do a lot going to see their end users, but actually yeah. these videos were with some of their partners, yeah. machine tool partners, they in the, basically endorsing the, the Dalcam product. I've uh, been to Exeron, which are available in the UK from CNC International. Yeah. They're well known for EDM technology as well as high speed machining centres. And I think, yeah, I would, I would sort of summarise uh, my trip and say that. You mentioned about Mazak stands, but I think all the big players, your Doosans, your Mazaks, yeah. your Romies, your Hasses, your Hercos. Coria? Yeah, you, yeah. yeah, I was going to come on to that, oh, actually. Right. You took the words right out of my mouth. But those guys have, have not fallen short in what they've put on show here yeah, this yeah. week. And it has been, uh, it's been an exciting show. If you're talking about colourful things, yeah. you need to visit the Correa stand because their machine right. is a very colourful machine. And we can't forget, I know you want to say something here, Mark, but can I just finish off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's per normal, Paul. <laughs> the, the, the Boomer Tech machine here that I interviewed Paul Zajac about, the S181. Nine axis machine for all kinds of different uh, industries, for complex parts. This is Apology. a. Fascinating. Perfect. One of our, one of our so, favourites if you watch our videos. So you, I've had a, a really, really good show. There's been yeah. lots and lots to see, and uh, 
I'm sure we'll right. be back at One more each. Joe, any, any more? Put you on the spot, no more. <laughs> DMG. DMG. The Hall. No more. So that's pretty much it from the team. Thank you, guys. I'd like to also say thank you to Starag Group for letting us on their stand today. It's a River Dirty from Milan. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.